Auto insurance rates are a lot more expensive. They're more expensive, in fact, now than they ever were across the nation and right here in Southern California. But some cities are far more expensive to insure your vehicle than others. On your sites, Christine Lazar tells us tonight how much more you can expect to spend on auto insurance this year and which cities come with the highest price tag. Last year in California, the average driver only saw about a 1% increase in their auto insurance premiums. This year, researchers at LendingTree say you can expect about an 11.5% increase, leaving drivers with some serious sticker shock. Kerrygold Plumbing is a small business in the San Fernando Valley that has been around for 44 years. But this is the first year they have ever seen such a steep hike in their auto insurance premiums. Right now we have 12 vehicles. Some of them we don't even use on job sites or anything like that, but we're paying around $58,000 a year. Up from about 38,000 last year. That's a more than 55% increase. And we don't really have a choice. We have to pay it we, to keep in business. And there's not a lot of carriers that will write uh, commercial policies. So you can't even really shop around? No, we can't shop it at all. There's one other carrier and they were, I think, double. Across the nation, Lending Tree expects auto insurance rates to increase more than 12.5% this year. Here in California, the average driver will likely see an 11.5% increase. So this is independent of your driving record. Even if nothing changed from 2023, you could see your insurance go up by an average of 11.5%. But there are cities that are more and less expensive to insure your car in. According to Lending Tree's analysis, the most expensive city in the state is Beverly Hills at more than 3,000 a year for auto insurance. Number two, Tarzana, followed by Van Nuys, West Hollywood, and North Hollywood rounding out the top five. In fact, the 30 most expensive cities to insure your vehicle in the state are right here in LA County. Why are we seeing such a steep increase across the board? It's a couple of factors, right? While inflation has started to slow down, cars continue to just be more expensive to repair and replace. And this is something that's happening across the country. As for the largest rate hike in the nation, according to Lending Tree's report, neighboring Nevada with an average increase of 28% for its drivers this year. But the most expensive premiums are in Michigan at more than 4,400 a year and Florida with close to 3,000 a year. Why are some states higher than others? Well, it all comes down to the negotiations that happen between insurance companies and, you know, the state's insurance commissioners. And here in California, we have one of the most consumer-friendly regulatory agencies. Insurance companies must publicly file all rate changes with the Department of Insurance, and the commissioner must approve them. Back in December, the department issued a warning to auto insurance companies, telling them they must write policies for all qualified good drivers. But if you do get a ticket, Lending Tree's insurance expert says expect to see your premium increase more than 100%. In light of all these rate hikes, it might be better to just drive very safe in 2024. The most expensive vehicles to insure EVs, with the Tesla Model X and Model Y topping the list. The cheapest vehicles to insure, according to Lending Tree, the gas powered Honda CRV and the Ford F-150. The least expensive city to insure your vehicle in California, Mount Shasta in Northern California at roughly 1300 a year. That's less than half of what it costs when you live in Beverly Hills. And nearby Brentwood is one of the least expensive cities in LA County to insure your car with an average yearly premium of 1788. Christine Lazar, KCAL News.